Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I am here with some more Winter Welcome Sled cards. And this is featuring the Spellbinders Winter Welcome Sled die set. Uh, it's just an awesome die set. Love, 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 love. This was not sent to me by Spellbinders. This is one now that I purchased myself and I have no regrets that I got it because it's just good. It is this sled. It also has some florals that you can use way beyond this die set with the sled base. And then those cute skates. So this, think of this die set as like a three for one. You can put these skates on any kind of card you want. The florals on any card, holiday card you want. And the sled on anything too. And this can go into your Christmas, into your winter cards, winter birthday cards with the sled, you know, for next year. The only thing I will let you know, this one has been a hard sellout. I don't know if it has restocked. I'm going to put more than one link below because, yeah, yeah. This one, she comes, she goes, she comes, she goes. She's on the going right now. A she nice add-on to this, the Holiday Blooms. That's back in stock. This beauty is back in stock, Holiday Blooms. And I'm going to keep it here because it's going to be on some of the cards. Before, I showed you that I had made this card. Which I still just so love. So here's the sled in all her glory. And then there is the holiday blooms mixed in here with some Bebo blooms for the greens and then more holiday blooms. And even this little sprig, that's from the Christmas blooms die set. So you can that's check that out. I will put a link for that as well. And this open house wreath die set, that open house set is on sale as well. So I showed you this card first with the sled in white with the little tweet cardinal. She's a cutie patootie. So now let's go into what I have done since this one. I made two cards. Look how the sled in three different colorways has produced three completely different cards. <laughs> I love it. More traditional, elegant, modern Christmas. You see how it kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Love this one for the colorway. Just cannot get enough of this colorway. If you like this little bit of cardstock, I will put a link below for it. It's, um, I think it's called Candy Stripe or Candy something. I did find it. So I'm going to put a link for it if you guys love this. It is a foil cardstock that I think works very well for all your winter projects. Going into Valentine's too with that stripe, okay? Super duper cute set. Put this off and let's just talk about the elegant one. Here I did the skates in glitter, as you can see, the uh, ice skates, and that's why I chose more glitter, please. Now that more glitter, please, that comes from the hot foil set Christmas Magic right here. There it is. I did use the gift that keeps on giving with this assorted tags die set. Love that right there. And this one, Spellbinders keeps adding add-ons to it. So even if you don't want the glimmer version, you can get the stamp version. There is even like a birthday version of words and little things to put in with the tags. Really comprehensive set. And, and you can use it beyond Spellbinders products. It's just a tag, but it's a great tag. <laughs> so that's what I used here. More glitter, and that's why it's here with the skates. And then this is just a bursting blooms of both the blooms from the sled and also from Holiday Blooms. It's a combination in here. And this time, with the poinsettia, I went with gold foil. You see it? And then here, I did this sort of a burgundy cardstock, which kind of goes with that embossing folder. This is that jewel tone cardstock at Spellbinders. Hard sellout. I will put a link for it. I believe this one is called... Oh, goodness. What is it called? I'm going to put the name here on the screen. I'm not used to the names of the Jewel Tone cardstock, but look how pretty she is. And this is on a kind of a cream 110-pound cardstock base. So it's not stark white. I could have done white. Here I did this florals right here in a kind of a cream. And then I used a lot of the silver mix gems along with the opal gems. Opal on the outside against this dark cardstock. Silver mix crystals in here for the florals. 
what do you guys think of this little card? You can tell I went for it. Cut these little greens out. Tuck, tuck, tuck. I even put it in like a kind of a tan color. I started off with this color and then went into this one. And the next thing I know, it just I just kept on going. And I did want to incorporate some gold. Different shades of foil cardstock that I have in my stash. I love foil. So I have all different kinds. That's just my thing. This is like a kind of a... Mm, coppery that's more gold that's matte gold against the shiny gold yeah I know I know you can just buy a little bit of them and just have them and just foil cardstock not cheap glitter cardstock not cheap but if you're only cutting a square this is a one inch square right here and you're running that die it'll take you a while to use it up mm-hmm just keep that in mind so you don't have to buy tons of it. You can buy a little bit of, of it, try to get them in different colors, and then add them in here because they do add that looks to a card. If I did the background in foil, yes, I'm using up a lot of foil, but I'm using them here in bits, okay? Now, this embossing folder, she's a goodie. It's a 3D embossing folder that was sent to me by Spellbinders to play with, along with some of these other goodies. This one, though, I did purchase, the sled. Dimensional Diamonds. Love. Love, love, love. I have another card that I did with this, too, before that I showed you guys. I showed you this. So you see how she is, like, I don't want to say simple, but in her simplicity, you get this elegance. And I keep using this embossing folder when I want the card to have a certain elegance to it maturity elegance not like fun kitty but i keep reaching for this one so it's nice to have in your stash it is a 3d embossing folder so you would use the spellbinders universal plate system to be able to work with um, this embossing folder these embossing folders are like super rock solid you know that one is the knock on wood <laughs> i love the name knock on wood like the song all right all right i'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop. <laughs> but I just was having so much fun. I had pre-cut this long time before this, but I think these two worked so well together. And like I said, I'm gonna put the name here on the screen, but I will definitely put a link for it. Just ask to be notified at Spellbinders because it's a new card stock, so it's not available everywhere and it's sold out on their website. Hopefully it comes back in sooner than later. Okay, moving on. So this is, oh, five by seven, A2 card size next card is this little beady cutie patootie little what is she a five by five five by five card and this one now i did use the 3d embossing folder scenic poinsettia so there is some holiday embossing folders that consist of the scenic poinsettia dimensional diamonds and there's a third one and my mind is going blank argyle socks argyle socks there she is oh geez now my mind isn't going that bad. <laughs> I have no idea where I put the Argyle socks, but here it is in action. And here's the poinsettia. So I will put links for these holiday embossing folders below so you can check out whichever one speaks to you or if all three speaks to you. All three of them speak to me, so. This one is holiday. This one is an all year round winner. So here now, I had this sled made with matte red foil cardstock and you don't have to use foil cardstock that's just my thing i just like the look of the foil in the background but you could just use cardstock no problem with that a gray cardstock to resemble the metal here and then you know then you do the wood like how i did the wood here and i did pull out my distress inks for this this one is a combination of tea dye ink and vintage photo and here this whole spray this is holiday blooms in all of its glory <laughs> And here is gold mixed gems from Spellbinders. Love, love, love. Even though this card is only five inch card, this is the first time that I've done this look where it sprays off. I'm going to explore this one again. I like the it in the corner going this way. This is more straightforward, but this one, because I had such a small area, I found myself doing this. Now that I have done it, I'm like, oh, I'm coming back to this <laughs> right here. This look, this spray in the corner. Usually my spray is top. Well, I did do a spray here in the corner, actually. This one follows the curve of the arch die. This one is more like a corner. You see the difference between them? Am I making any sense? Hopefully I'm making sense. But you see, this one was following this 
it wasn't really on an edge going out. They do have a little bit of a different angle. Curved angle, more of a corner angle. This one I have not done, so I like this. So here you can see two versions of how you can do it. Playing with that Holiday Blooms die set. Love, love, love. Gift receipt enclosed. Also from Christmas Magic. And Christmas Magic does have a sister. She's a stamp set. Don't have it on me, but I will put a link below for it. So if you don't have a hot foil machine, you can go that version where stamp it out and then cut it. This tag is actually this, sentiment labels. I just did the label here, put it over the green cardstock that I had foiled, gift receipt enclosed, and then just cut off the edge and made my own tag with this set. So this is like a two for one. Here you could just do regular label, and then there you have the outside of the label that gives you this great look, or turn it into a tag itself. Here I use some DMC metallic thread. What I use for the stitching dies, spellbinder stitching dies, I put that there on the edge instead of using a big ribbon because this card is so small, but I think it's a small card with a lot of punch. What do you guys think? Gift receipt enclosed. Cute. And I also use some gold metallic, I think it's ink, with a little dauber to the centers and the berries of the poinsettia die set. So you can go small, where everything is more focused. You can go a little bit larger, or you can go 5x7, A2, 5x5. Ta-da! <laughs> Alrighty, moving on. Before I go, I on a little quick sidebar, I did have a viewer ask me a question and I decided to bring one of my, you know, larger A2 sized hot foil plates to talk about it. She was asking me about, you know, I thought she meant what's the difference with the hot foiling, but what she meant was, can you use these hot foil plates just beyond hot foiling? Yes, you can use these like how you would use an embossing folder. You can put the cardstock on top, you take out your embossing mat, so you'd have the hot foil plate, a sheet of paper, embossing mat, and run it through your die cut machine. And then you could use these hot foil plates as like a texture to create this kind of texture. The only thing I did say to her, now if you have a Spellbinders Platinum 6, it will come with the embossing plate and this. Test your sandwich because this does have a certain height and this is rigid. So if you're running it through your machine and your machine is like, oh no, back it right back out. Don't force it. Maybe look at your plates, see if they're a regular cutting plate. Yeah, see, they're a regular cutting plate. This is the Spellbinder 6x6 cutting plate. It is a little bit thinner than their embossing plate. So I would probably test it first this way run it if it doesn't emboss and just use a regular scrap sheet of paper first before you know something that you can if it doesn't work out hey <laughs> and then when you find your perfect sandwich if it is this then you put your good cardstock and run it so you don't waste your good cardstock but that's how you would use this to get that dry emboss effect so you can use your plates like that i haven't tried it i've seen it in videos but just answering that question for those of you that want to know how you can use your hot foil plates, especially these large ones, beyond just always having to pull out your hot foil machine. You can use them to create nice backgrounds too. Alrighty crafters, until the next video, stay crafty my friends. Bye.